It's disheartening to see so many sharing their experiences or feeling ostracised and judged, particularly those of us with O negative blood type. Personally, I've encountered my fair share of unwarranted hostility, simply for being myself. It's a sentiment I'm sure resonates with many of you. Have you ever felt like you're constantly censoring your thoughts to avoid offending others? It's a struggle to offer genuine, helpful truths when people seem to prefer being misled. And how about the accusations of anger? It's frustrating when simply standing up for ourselves is misconstrued as aggression, especially in written communication where tone and expression aren't conveyed. It seems ingrained in some to distrust and dislike those who are different. They sense it as we emit some signal of otherness. Instead of peacefully parting ways, some individuals actively seek to tear us down, spreading rumours and falsehoods to tarnish our reputation. Personally, I've always focused on improving my own life rather than controlling others. Yet some take offence to this empowerment, feeling threatened by their own perceived inadequacies in comparison. This pattern repeats itself endlessly. The norm of society often comprises individuals resistant to change, clinging together in their shared discomforts with anything divergent. Rather than facing their own shortcomings, they project their insecurities onto others, fueling a cycle of animosity and slander. But amidst this chaos, there are rare gems, good, balanced individuals who stand by us through thick and thin, offering genuine friendship without ulterior motives. These connections are invaluable, reminding us that despite the negativity, there's still some goodness to be found in the world. So cherish those who appreciate you for who you are, and remember, you're worth far more than the opinions of those who seek to bring you down. <laughs>